So I'm going to con- try to do this daily. Because <laughs> I just didn't, I, I don't know. I'm just fascinated watching the world burn, right? Um, so uh, the first thing is, um, I you know, we're going to see. If you didn't know that the uh, Speaker of the House does not have to be a member of the House. And uh, there's a lot of scuttlebutt that they might propose Trump to be Speaker of the House. And now, I, you know, I'm like the, I, I was some, I would love, I'm like the liberal hive mind, right, on YouTube. I, I mean, I would love to see the leftoids meltdown <laughs> if that actually took place. <laughs> it would be huge. I mean, I, I, I would just go, I, I'd be sitting here on my floor, just thumping the floor going, no, Trump, 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 Trump. Oh my God! Can you imagine? I mean, if 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 that actually took place, I mean, that would be because uh, you know I don't trust Kevin McCarthy. I think he's a deep state, uh, you know, um, neocon uh, Republican. Uh, all the, even though he's trying to present himself as a MAGA person, I don't I don't see that happening. Um, second thing was um, Brazil. Uh, boy, I, I mean they. I don't think that election in Brazil was uh, legit, uh, and people are protesting by the millions. It's huge. I mean, we're almost looking at a revolution, and they're saying that CIA operatives were down there uh, basically uh, trying to get the uh, leftist, uh, um, uh, what the hell is the guy's name? I don't know. But so we'll see where that goes. That's that's huge. Uh, and so you got Brazil in revolt. There's a lot of countries, you know, now that the U.S. empire is dissolving around the world, uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, political turmoil uh, in, in just countries all around the world. That's why I call this, watch the world burn, right? You know, <laughs> I mean, and so now, I mean, it, and let's get to the next story, which is uh, the Twitter files number seven. Now, I want you to think about this. What on earth? I mean, Elon Musk was the, the golden child of the, of the federal government. They subsidized his manufacturing of the uh, Tesla cars. Uh, they subsidized everything that he did. Um, you, know, uh, he, you know, his Starlink. I mean, think about it, you know, with, the, with his um, SpaceX. I mean, all of that was a lot of government money, our, our, our taxpayer money. What? the hell did the Biden administration do? <laughs> I mean, they must have done something that pissed this guy off. And the richest, I mean, are you, are you going to piss off the richest man in the world? Now, I give, I, God knows, I got to I gotta say, I did not expect Elon Musk to burn the world down. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, I mean, I, I thought he just bought Twitter to get some leverage because I talked about leverage in a couple of the videos. I thought he just bought it to get some leverage because something had happened that he just felt like he needed to, to push back. No, no, he's burning the whole world down. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. I'm watching the, these Twitter files and so he just dropped number seven. Let's listen to this from Dr. John Turley. This is insane. Bombshell number three, deep state agents are embedded throughout big tech. According to journalist Michael Schellenberger, Twitter had become a veritable dumping ground for former FBI workers. Quote, as of 2020, there were so many former FBI employees, BU alumni, working at Twitter that they had created their own private Slack channel and a crib sheet to onboard new FBI arrivals. Apparently that BU alumni was their own private Slack channel, Slack being an internal instant messaging service. And this is apparently a very noticeable pattern going on and not just at Twitter. There are what appears to be nothing less than a, there's a revolving door between Democrat deep state operatives and big tech companies. And it's raising the larger question, what on earth is going on here? Why are we seeing so many deep state intelligence operatives getting employed at big tech companies? Again, this issue came up to the, came to the fore recently with the revelation that a top FBI official, a fellow by the name of Jim Baker, he was a former FBI lawyer working at Twitter, we found out not only did he push Twitter to bury the Hunter Biden story, but while he was at the FBI, it turns out he was behind the whole Trump-Russia spygate fabrication. 
Okay, that's Dr. John Turley, um, and you can watch him on YouTube. I can't steal too much of his uh, parade, but I, you know, I can promote his channel, right? I, uh, I don't want to get into any sort of copyright violations on Twitter or anything like that. I can't, you know, you, you know, I, I'm, I'm not privy to all the laws, but I know that you, I can steal this for my own story, and that's what we're we're talking about here. But I mean. I, you know, and I'm sure most of the American people don't even know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I mean, is watching the world burn, baby, watching the world burn. Oh, and then I, I, the, the, the highlight of my day was when Elon Musk sent out a tweet to, uh, uh, God knows it, what, what's the, uh, Shifty Shift on, uh, in, in the Congress, who uh, basically for five years or four years wasted our time with the Russia, Russia, Russia investigation of Trump. And he just told him, he said, uh, in a tweet, he said, your head is too small. <laughs> I was laughing about that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. And by the way, I mean, if you didn't know, uh, the, the, uh, we're, we're sending another $35 billion to Ukraine uh, for whatever reason, because that's what the Democrats want. The Democrats. If you're a Democrat, what the hell? What is wrong with you, man? Why do you, why do you, I mean, we've got people in the United States. You want to claim, you want a virtue signal that, you know, the homeless on the streets don't need money, that we, that uh, we don't have an open border. I mean, what the hell? You're going to send another $35 billion to Ukraine, which is just going to get pissed away because the Russians are winning. And I've talked about that in previous videos, and I might do another Ukraine update uh, it, here soon. Uh, by the way, I, and, then, and then the last thing that I wanted to report on is the Kerry Lake case. Uh, the judge actually ruled that uh, it has merit. Now, you have to understand, back in 2020, uh, every single case that Trump uh, or lawyers brought against election uh irregularities, let's just say, I don't want to get banned from YouTube, uh, was denied because of standing. They said they had no standing for whatever various reasons, and you can watch various videos on that. But the Carrie Lake case is going forward. Now, the part that I just don't even understand is that part of the case was they wanted to do a, an investigation on matching signatures to these mail-in ballots. And the judge said, no, you can't match the signatures. Am I crazy? I mean, watching the world burn, baby. I mean, what the hell? I mean, because how come, I mean, if you're going to do an investigation, don't you think that you should look at these mail-in ballots and see if the signature matches the person that sent it in? Okay, well, that's it. I mean, I might put up another video tonight. Um, I'm still just kind of chilling. I, I was planning to do a big hike today. I didn't get to it because it rained and it was terrible weather. And, uh, and so I just, I, boy, and so on a personal note, um, let's just talk about, because this might relate to your life. And that's what my videos are all about. I want to talk about things that relate to you. So um, if you didn't know, I, a couple, well, about a month ago, I went to my dentist and I wanted to get my teeth cleaned. And they said, I can't get my teeth cleaned until I get a doctor's uh, note saying that I can get my teeth cleaned. And I was like, well, why? Because it broke my neck, and they said there's a danger if they floss my teeth, which I floss my teeth all the time, that the bacteria from the, the, the teeth can get down into my spine and kill me. And they didn't want that liability. And I'm like, well, what? I mean, it, it is just a, it, do we live in a dystopian world? <laughs> I mean, it was some crazy invention that is... is and so I went to the doctor, you know, and it took me uh, weeks and weeks to get the damn letter so that I could take it back to the dentist and say that, you know, you. And so I go there on Friday, last Friday, and, and the, the dentist office is closed on a Friday. Who the hell has their office closed on Friday in the, in the United States? But I mean, I guess maybe if you're in a European country, you know, you only work, you know, three days a week. Here in the United States, normally we work five days a week and take the weekend off. But it was just bizarre. So I couldn't. I, I, so I went in today. Finally, I, well, I, and that was the other thing was my the VA, you know, the VA. Uh, they said they had faxed the letter to the dentist twice. And, uh, and so I was like, okay, good, good, good. And, and then I called the dentist office and they're like, no, we haven't received the letter. We don't know anything about it. So I finally had to physically go over to the VA and, uh, and say, give me the damn letter. 
if you've signed it. I mean, have you signed it? And they said, yeah. And so I sat there for three hours and they gave me the letter. And, uh, and so then I had to drove. Well, obviously on Friday, I tried to deliver it and I couldn't do it. So finally today I get the letter to the VA, I mean, to the dentist. And, uh, and they're like, well, I said, well, you know, and, and understand how insurance works here in the United States. I have to get my teeth cleaned by the end of the year. Otherwise, everything resets as, as of January 1st. So then I said, well, can you get me an appointment to get my teeth cleaned? Because you told me that you would. I waited, by the way, I waited three months to get my damn teeth cleaned uh, because they, they uh, said that because I was gone for eight, ten months that they couldn't get me in. Um, so anyway, I, and so that's why it came up here to the last minute. And they said, well, no, we can't clean your teeth until we do an examination. What, what, what does having my teeth clean have anything to do with a damn e examination? <laughs> you know? And they said, well, it's by law. I said, well, is that federal law or state law? Because I want to know who I can bitch to, right? And they said, well, we don't know. It's by law. You can't get your teeth cleaned. So basically, any, in other words, it looks like I'm not going to get my teeth cleaned until the next and by the way, the insurance only covers two visits a year, okay? Uh, so, so the important thing was to get the teeth clean by the end of the year. This is the crazy dystopian idiot world that we live here in the United States. And so I'm just, uh, that's it. You know, peace out, stay free. Good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis.